Our goal in making a game is to bring the battles that you see in all three films to life. Hi everyone, my name is Mark Skaggs and I am the executive producer on Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth. My job as executive producer is to make sure we keep a consistent vision for the game and also to make sure all the different parts and pieces come together at the right time in the right way, be it engineering, art, audio, design, that we have a great entertainment experience when we're finished with it. This is the first of a series of videos that we're going to be creating uh, to show all the game features of the game before we ship. Now in this first session we're going to be talking about organics and emotions and how we bring those elements from the film into the game. Now this first clip we designed to show emotions of very large creatures. So we see a mama kill here, he's walking through a city and he's going to get lit up. All right, so there he goes. He's obviously not happy, so he panics. He's trying to knock that howd off the back. All right, so now the panic, he gets out of control, and he starts rampaging, smashing. You can see here for the first time a totally new level of emotion that we're bringing to this all right, so there was an example of emotions that we're adding to the game for creatures, for, for basically animals, creatures that don't think. In this next clip, we're going to show emotions for a thinking creature, an ant. We call this clip Tree Beard's Revenge. All right, so we see Tree Beard here walking through the forest and attending to his trees, and he comes across some horns. Now these orcs are going to light him up. And you're going to see him panic here trying to put out the flames, and he starts running. Ah, so here he is. He puts himself out. He self-heals. Now he's angry, right? Now he's going to go get some revenge. Picks that work. Now watch as he picks up the shoe drop. Watch what these other works do here. All right, so you can see that's the next level. So we have an intelligent creature here. He thinks, he gets in trouble, and now he goes and self heals. So in this clip, we're actually going to show emotions for characters that you control for these for these Gondor soldiers. You see this troll? He picks up a tree. He's going to use it as a club and he's going to smash these guys. Bam! Alright, that's pretty cool. That's fun. It's a lot of action. We call that the old fashioned. Let's watch what happens when we do it in a new way. Oh, picks up the tree. Ah, look at that. Did you see those guys back up? They were afraid, right? They showed real emotion. You know, you'd be afraid too if a, a 12 foot troll came up to you carrying a tree and was going to beat you. All right, so now let's move to the next little section here. We see the Gondor soldiers, and we're going to order them to attack those orcs. They follow our orders, they go into it, they attack them, they beat them. Now they wait for our next command. This is traditional RTS. This is like every other RTS you've seen. The games we've done in the past, too. Let's look at the new way, though. And we have our Gondor soldiers there. And they're going to see the orcs. They're not going to move, though, because I didn't order them to attack. They're going to start cheering. They're going to taunt the orcs. They're saying, well, you know, let's go get them. They're not going to do anything until they give the attack man. They give the attack man, there they go. They run over and attack the orcs. All right, so they get them. And now they're happy. They're excited. They're saying, yeah, we got the orcs. Let's go get some more, Mark. Come on, let's go. They're excited. Now, if we look at the old-fashioned way, All right, so you get the picture. We look at the new way. They're excited. They're alive. They feel very emotional, like very emotional creatures. And so that's what we're doing in the game to 
pull in uh, the emotions and organics of the world that in, in such a way nobody's ever seen before. And you know, so that's it for today, and I'll see you guys next time.